Replace the injectors for the OM651. Your first step, remove the engine cover. Then disconnect the camshaft sensor plug. In our vehicle, an adapter cable set for the injector plugs has been retrofitted. Set this aside for the time being. Unclip the brackets. Remove the retaining clips on the connectors. Then disconnect the connectors. Upon installation, renew the sealing ring and the housing cover. Then place the adapter cable to one side. Now the high pressure lines are next. Loosen four nuts on the injectors. And then use a suitable tool to undo the nuts on the rail. Before you take off the high pressure lines, put on gloves to protect yourself from leaking fuel. Now take off the high pressure lines. Seal the connections with caps. After you've removed the other lines, you can begin with the removal of the injectors. Loosen the screw and pull it out a bit. Now you can use the screw to lever the injector from the well. Alternatively, you can use a 3 quarter inch Torx 40 bit with an extension. Now check if the threaded insert used for the expansion bolt is in the correct position. Below the cast edge and below the two punch marks. Remove the other three injectors. Number the injectors with the corresponding cylinders. Now for the parts set. It's available in EPC from the fourth quarter of 2011. The kit includes the injectors, new screws, new high pressure lines, a round brush, and four ceiling rings and housing caps for the injector connectors. Clean the injector wells with the round brush until they're really clean. You can also clamp the round brush into a cordless screwdriver. If they're very dirty, use a round steel brush, but only if the holes to the combustion chamber are sealed with a plug. You need this grease for the injector. Use the special grease from the hex nut to just above the green seal. The contact surface of the copper sealing ring must remain free of grease. Remove the cap. Next, the supplied sealing ring. Then insert the injector along with the clamping bracket. Do the same with the other three injectors. Put the screw loosely in place.
Then remove the plugs and fit the new high pressure lines hand tight. Make sure that the black markings on the high pressure lines on cylinder 3 and 4 are mounted in the direction of the rail.